North Star, welcome to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is 2 Timothy 1, verses 5 through 7. God's word says this, I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and now, I am sure, dwells in you as well. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. This week, we're looking at the tension between spouses and kids. And so today, we're actually going to look at a little bit of a passage that speaks to the power of parenting. So here in in verse 5 of 2 Timothy 1, we see reference to Timothy's grandmother, Lois, and to her mother, Eunice. And as Paul is writing this letter, he says that he's reminded of of. Timothy's sincere faith, but the faith that was originally born in Lois, his grandmother, and then in Eunice, his mother, that there's this generational faith that has taken place in Timothy's family, um, which has made a sub- uh, extreme impact on him. I mean, Paul even goes on to say, I'm sure it dwells in you now as well. And I've heard it said within, within parenting that more is caught than is taught. That, that a life lived and an example given is much better um, than, than a lesson that is taught. I mean, so we see this just in play here with Eunice and Lois. And so from here, then Paul instructs Timothy, hey, I know that you've got this faith inside of you. I want to remind you to fan into flame this gift of God for you to, to really to give oxygen to, to, to think about blowing, um, blowing your breath on hot coals, allowing for it to fan into to flame um, the gift of God that is inside of us. And then verse 7 is just a beautiful passage. It just reminds us that, that this gift that we've received from those older than us, those who have taught us the way of Jesus, that this spirit is not one of fear, but is one of power, love, and self-control. So parents today, I pray you would be encouraged that you would parent out of an example, not of fear, but of power, out of love, and out of self-control and children, for for those of us who are listening, may we um, may we look to those who've gone ahead of us with respect and awe, and then may we too remember that we have a spirit inside of us, not of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. May we live that way today. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that by the power of your Spirit, Second Timothy one verses five through seven would change us into the likeness of Christ. And Lord, we pray that we, we just thank you, God, for those that have gone before us in the gospel, those that have gone before us in the faith and who have been so faithful to hand it down. Um, Lord, we, we know that we've caught so much from them. May we be faithful to do the same. Father, we pray this now through the Son and by the Spirit. Amen. Amen.